Ciao, fellow Vita comrades, and welcome. Today we are first checking out new front-end emulator app for PS Vita called Emu for Vita Arch, and later we are looking at new update for FBA Lite to the version 7.1. So let's get cracking. Listen. First new front-end, I gotta admit, I quite like it. It's pretty cool and it's also pretty snappy. It's called Emu for Vita and it serves as an alternative option to the Retro Arch. It is basically its simplified version, with the main focus being on the performance. This is already version 1.03. First release was like 2-3 months ago, but I'm getting to it just now. I believe this is the work of same Chinese guy or guys that are responsible for the FBA Lite emulator, cause even that core is built into it. I think nobody is in direct contact with them, somebody just found a link on Baidu and shared it on Reddit. So this way I'd like to send a huge thanks over to China for their hard work, it's greatly appreciated. Keep it up, looking forward to new updates. Right now there are 10 systems available, NES, SNES, Mega Drive, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, PC Engine, PS1, Wonder Swan Color, Neo Geo Pocket and Final Burn Alpha. For each system you gotta use core and for some system you can even choose from multiple cores. I'll quickly scroll through all of them so you can see, but the main ones are Nestopia, SNES 9X, Pico Drive, Genesis Plus GX, GBSP, Gambate, some Mednafens, FBA Lite and for PS1 is PCSX Rearmed, even though we don't really need it cause we have Adrenaline. But as I always say, the more options the better, that's for sure. I've been checking multiple systems and multiple cores, mostly GBA, some NES, SNES and Genesis, and they are working as expected. Some games are running ok, some games are running a bit slower, it is very individual as you may know, so it's gonna be best when you install it and try out games that you wanna play. All you need to do to set it up is to download and install VPK and then choose path to your ROMs folder. And that's it, you can enjoy it in all its glory. There is one small issue though, it is in Chinese, at least for now, cause I believe Freud San over at the Reddit is working on a translation. He did great job translating FBA Lite into English, so if anybody can do it, it's him. For some emulators, core options are in English, like for example here it, at the GPSP or at the SNES 9X, they are in English. There are some frame skip options, reduce slowdown and reduce flicker and hacks. For other systems, you might want to wait for English patch or just use default settings. Launching the app is almost instantaneous, whereas with RetroArch you're gonna wait a bit longer. Overall, MU4 Vita is nice addition to the Vita homebrew arsenal. With English patch it's gonna be absolutely amazing, but even now it's more than usable. And I would recommend to at least check it out to know where you're at. Link for Reddit post is down below, give it some upvotes and have fun! Now just a quick announcement. I've also created Patreon alongside the join button, so in case you want to support the channel even further, you can now choose which one do you prefer. Before I created the join button, I was checking out which one is better, and of course both are taking cut of your donations. YouTube <laughs> is taking like 30%, which is pretty steep, but I totally forgot that on Patreon I can even share videos uh, that are not suitable for YouTube guidelines, so I think I'll find a good use for it. Now quickly to the new FBA Lite update to the version beta 7.1. If you are using it, go and update it right now to the latest version. English patch by Freud Sun is also already out, link for it is down below. I cannot exactly tell you what has been changed, cause there is no changelog. It has been updated from version 6 to 7.1, so I presume they had a reason to do so. So go try it out and tell me if it's any better. I found it already very good even like two versions before. That's it for now, I'm working on upcoming homebrew news, but I thought I'm gonna share this promising new frontend with you in the meantime. Because to create news it takes a quite a lot of time, so I think I'm gonna be releasing uh, more of the shorter videos in between the longer ones. So thanks to you for watching, thanks to developers for hard work, thanks to members for their support, like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video, join to support the channel even further, and I'll see you all in the upcoming one. Peace out! Oh, hell yeah!